Back pain, particularly in the lower back, is a very common affliction. It often improves on its own within a few weeks, but for some, it lingers or keeps recurring. Let's delve into understanding the causes, explore self-care strategies, and know when it's essential to seek professional help. The causes of back pain can vary. It's not always crystal clear what triggers it, but many times it stems from injuries like a pulled muscle, medical conditions such as a slipped disc, sciatica, or even less commonly, serious issues like a broken bone, or in the rarest of cases, cancer. However, relief is often at hand with some simple self-care strategies. Staying active is crucial. Try to maintain your usual daily activities as much as possible. Consider anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen to manage the pain. Icing the area can reduce swelling, while applying heat can ease stiffness or muscle spasms. Exercises and specific stretches also offer relief and serve as a preventive approach. But if stretching exacerbates the pain, stopping and seeking guidance from a general practitioner is important. Resources like the NHS's video workouts or exercises offered by the Chartered Society of Physiotherapy can prove greatly beneficial. But what if the pain persists? When should you reach out for medical advice? If, after a few weeks of self-treatment, your pain doesn't subside, impacts your daily life, or worsens, it's imperative to consult a healthcare professional. Particularly severe pain that is unrelenting, impacts sleep or inhibits movement, demands attention. Pay heed to this advice to avoid complications down the road. In cases where severe symptoms such as a fever, unexplained weight loss, or leg weakness accompany your back pain, seeking urgent GP consultation or contacting healthcare services like 1-1 is critical. If the situation is dire, where symptoms include numbness, chest pain, or follow a severe accident, seek immediate care through emergency services like calling 999. When back pain becomes severe or unyielding, a doctor might prescribe certain medications or recommend treatments like group exercise programs, physiotherapy, or CBT. In extreme cases, such as persistent issues from a slipped disc, surgical options may be considered. Consider exploring NHS services in your area for potential treatment options without having to book a GP visit directly. Navigating back pain doesn't have to be a solitary journey. Understanding what steps to take ensures you're ready to face this challenge with knowledge and actionable strategies. If persistent back pain is affecting your life, remember to reach out to a healthcare professional for a tailored approach. Your health is invaluable and taking informed steps can make all the difference.